Your dock is looking like Sanford and Son. I know. <laughs> One sign away from the yard tail. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. You know that guy, Key West Waterman, Iron Young, and I'm Will. We're down here in Key West. Uh, going out today, Aaron's going to drift for Wahoo. I'm going to stay uh, topside on the boat and spot him. And if we don't see anything, we might troll a little bit for Wahoo. And now the only thing I'm going to take from the Wahoo would be the head and the collars. So we're going to head out. So, I know how lucky I am in life, especially with a friend like Aaron. Um, I'm a mediocre diver at best. I'm brand new to it. So, uh, I always try to help out by being on the boat. But, being friends with such an excellent diver, I always end up with fish. So, this is a win-win situation. Well, the good news is that Aaron just saw what he said, 10 wahoo. Uh, swam past him um, so we started the drift over again we're gonna try to cross him at the path <laughs> one one more time uh, I got I got faith he's gonna land something on this drift he is on I knew he was gonna get one this drift come here this fish is dead yeah there's like a hundred wall here right here. Okay, okay. Let's go get him. Got eyes on him, all right. I said you get one this trip, not two. Oh. <laughs> Bro, throw me that small gap. Holy smokes, that was hectic. <laughs> All right, he's still fighting that one. I'm gonna put the camera down and pay attention to what I'm doing, so I'll be back here in a minute. You better show me soon. You're almost out of battery. I'm gonna go buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> Look at it holding on. No. One flopper. <laughs> Whew, that was insane. Literally like a hundred showed up. I, I used that gaff to grab him because I was afraid he was going to tear out. Oh, redemption, baby. <laughs> Aaron's out for another drift, but I have what I need to make what I want to make, which is uh, croquetas with uh, potato, and we're gonna mix in some of the wahoo collar and the head meat. Um, so we're gonna keep playing out here, but we'll see you back in the kitchen. So we are getting our head and our collar and we're going to take this little tail piece down here as well. So the, this little tail chunk is oh yeah. still plenty edible, it just gets, the, the farther it gets down you get more tendons in here and it just gets a little tougher. So That's perfect. We like you, tough. You can have it. <laughs> So we're going to make Wahoo head croquettes with a romesco sauce. And a romesco sauce is roasted red peppers, tomato, uh, toasted almonds, and garlic. It is a Spanish inspired sauce. Um, so first things first, I have a double boiler going there. We're going to steam our uh, Wahoo head and this is going to steam really fast, probably about 10 minutes. So I'm going to drop that in.
Well, shit. Yeah. Just made. And then this is that tailpiece that Aaron cut off for me. I'm actually gonna leave this raw and just chop it up really, really fine. Put in that collar. Okay, so while those are in there, I have here uh, slivered almonds. We're gonna put those in the oven on a low broil to toast them. These burn really fast. We'll pay attention to those while that's in there. We uh, chop up just the remainder of this wahoo tail. But not too small, just little dice pieces. Did you just sharpen this knife? <laughs> it's super sharp. sharp. <laughs> almost, almost took off my fingertip there. <laughs> so that's it. Like I said, nothing, nothing too fine. About that big. So you're going to put that aside over here. Okay, and then for our romesco sauce, I have great tomatoes, some garlic, one red chili, and three red bell pepper. Now we're gonna split in half, take the seeds out. I'm gonna keep checking those almonds because I don't want them to burn. I don't want them to have a bitter flavor. Just toast it. They're getting there. Just pull these guys off of the vine. There we go. Just a light, light toast on those guys. And we're gonna put them directly into our Nutribullet. Okay, same pan. We put tomato, our bell pepper, and our hot pepper. And these are going right back into the oven that we just pulled the almonds out of, and that is on a low broil. I want to char these just a little bit. Now our wahoo head should be finished. Yep, that was fast. <laughs> Learned my lesson during the uh, Iron Chef battle, how quickly things steam versus how slowly they bake in the oven. So that is just cooked through, just cooked through. We're gonna put that aside, let it cool down, and then pick all the meat. While that's cooling down and while our, roast, our peppers are roasting, I'm gonna peel, I have five potatoes. Peel five, and I like the Yukon Gold potatoes. They have a little less moisture and they're gonna be better for what we're doing. This is gonna be the body of our croquette. So we're gonna mix the uh, Wahoo meat with basically mashed potatoes and then bread them and deep fry them. We're gonna dice these up into just about that, dice-sized pieces. Now to this pot, add a bit of sea salt, and then we're gonna add water so it's just one inch above the potatoes and bring that up to a boil.
right, I got all my head and collar meat picked. This is our raw tail meat. Put that in. Okay, so by now, my peppers should be charred. Okay, so what you want to do with these, I won't bore you with it. The grape tomatoes, I'm just gonna throw them in along with, mm, we're gonna peel the skin off of our peppers and the hot pepper. So just like that, I won't bore you with all of it, but I'm gonna peel all the skin off of these. I know throwing them in a bag sometimes can make it easier, but we're just going for it. Also, before I forget into our blender, we're gonna throw in two garlic cloves. And I'm gonna check on our potatoes. We want them just cooked through and not overcooked at all. Potatoes have about two more minutes on them. So we will blend our sauce. By the time we finish that, potatoes will be done. And then we'll mash those. So in here, put a bit of sea salt. And some olive oil. We might have to add a little bit extra as we go. But for right now, that's all we need. And a little bit of sherry vinegar. And just a dash of red wine vinegar. Give this a taste, make sure we don't need any seasoning. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Perfect, absolutely perfect. That is such an amazing sauce. Between the toasted, it gives it a nice nutty flavor. The sherry vinegar and the red vinegar give it a little bit of acidity. That is a perfect, perfect sauce. All right, on to the potatoes. Now it's important to do this while the potatoes are ripping hot, but they're just cooked through. Good amount of pepper. Some garlic salt. And we mash them. A little bit of Kerrygold butter, and that will help them stay nice and creamy. Okay, now that those are nice and mashed, this is our picked head and collar meat. Add just a little bit of salt for that, and add our potato. So we're gonna mix this up really really well and then we're going to put it into the refrigerator to completely cool down and then roll our uh, croquettes okay this is nice and mixed now it's going into the fridge to completely cool down so i like to roll all of my croquettes put them aside and then we'll bread them one of the easiest things to do wet your hands just a little bit and That's it. And then we're actually gonna put these back in the fridge so they really hold their shape when we go to bread them. Now, if your mixture is a little bit too wet, which this is actually good, you can add just a little bit of flour to it, but we do not need that at all. All right, back into the fridge with these and then we'll bread them. All right, so I just have flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. Once the flour is on there, we can make these look a little, a little prettier.
and I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to double bread these just one time around. Okay, I'm going to finish breading these and then we'll meet over at the fryer. I have my fryer oil set to 375, might be a little bit higher than that. And really, I just want these breadcrumbs to brown because everything inside is already cooked. I'm going to do a couple at a time because I don't want to bring that temp down in the oil. And then, of course, I have paper towels set to the side here. We're going to take those out, put them on the paper towels, and then plate them up. That is what I'm looking for. That is gorgeous. So if you haven't figured it out yet, essentially we're making fried mashed potatoes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Golden brown, nice and perfectly crispy. We have our beautiful romesco sauce. And just a little bit of chopped parsley and scallions on top. Let me go grab my uh, taste tester. Madeline's not here, unfortunately. She had to run out, but we are going to catch her later. She'll be back probably in like an hour, but I got Aaron in the house here. So let me go grab him and we'll eat these. These really do look good and pretty. Pretty content with that. All right. Maybe five stars for presentation. We're not playing that game right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice and crunchy. It smells good, I'll tell you that. Oh my. Hmm. That's pretty darn good. That wahoo's not overcooked, I'll tell you that. No, it's not. <laughs> it's moist. See? That's I've impressive. Got, I've gotten to a point where I only like cooking with the head meat. I cooked with filet meat, and it messed me up. <laughs> yeah, the head meat is just... And I put in that tail raw. Did you? Yeah. So I think putting in the tail raw... And really, you're just browning the outside, so it didn't cook that long. That is magical. That sauce is unbelievable. Romesco sauce is one of my favorites. Romesco? Romesco. I haven't heard of that one. It's a Spanish, there's like a special, it's kind of like the ahi amarillo, where you could recreate yeah, yeah, yeah. it here, but it's not the same. So this is a take on Romesco, in case there's any purists out there. <laughs> this All is right. unbelievable. I dig it. All right. Well, if you like this episode, hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. We're going to be napping until the next one. Seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah. Madeline's going to like that. <laughs>